All right, this video we're going to look at effective rate or annual percentage yield. Okay, so let's talk about what it is. It says the annual percentage yield, R sub E, that's the notation they use for it, is the annual compounding rate needed to produce the same amount of interest in one year as the nominal rate does with more frequent compounding. All right, so so what that is is like, say, you you put some money in the bank, and let's say it's it's com it's six percent interest compounded monthly for one year. Okay, so it's it's six percent monthly for one year. So what this does is tell us the the interest rate we need for annual compounding to produce the same amount as this does. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, so the effective rate corresponding to a stated rate of interest R compounded M times per year is R sub E is equal to 1 plus R over M raised to the m minus 1 where I mean it tells you right here your rate of interest is r and m is the how many times it's compounded in, in a year so in other words if it's compounded semi-annually m would be 2 quarterly m would be 4 monthly m would be 12 and uh, daily M would be 365. All right, so I have a couple of examples to work. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started on those. All right, so here it wants us to find the annual percentage yield corresponding to the given nominal rates. So 4% compounded semi-annually. All right, so first, let's just go ahead and write our formula down. So R sub E is equal to 1 plus R over M raised to the M minus 1. So we just need to know what R and M are, and then we plug them in. So here I have R is equal to the 4%, so that's 0 0.04. M it's compounded semi-annually, so M would be 2. And so we just plug this in. And so that's going to give me R sub E is equal to 1 plus 0 0.04 R over M over 2 raised to the M, which is 2 minus 1. All right, so what we would do here plug it in, punch it into your calculator, I would just type in 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 2 and hit enter. And that should give you 1.02. And then hit your exponent button, so raise to the second, hit equals, that should give you 1.0404 and then minus 1 and hit enter. And so that is going to give us R sub E is equal to 0 0.0404 and so that would be what 4.04 percent okay remember to convert it to a percentage you just move the decimal two places to the right all right so let's look at the next example so six percent compounded quarterly all right let's write our formula down R sub E is equal to 1 plus R over M raised to the M minus 1. All right so let's get R and M. So R is equal to 0 0.06 the 6 percent write it as a decimal. M it's compounded quarterly so M is 4. Okay all right so now let's just plug everything in. So R sub E is equal to 1 plus R over M, so 0 0.06 over 4, 0 0.06 over 4, 
raised to the m, so raised to the fourth minus one. So r sub e, well, punch it into your calculator. Just type in one plus point zero six divided by four and hit enter. That should give you 1.015 and then hit your exponent button so raised to the fourth hit enter and then minus one and hit enter and that gives you 0 0.06 and I don't know just depending on what your teacher wants you to do on rounding I would if they didn't if they didn't care I'd round it to maybe uh, four decimal places and then that way when we can when you convert it to a percentage you'll have a your percentage will be to two decimal places but just you know round it however your teacher wants you to so convert it to a percentage we get six point one four percent and there's your answer so give me uh, give me a like subscribe uh, hope the video helped check out my other videos and thanks for watching